All right, hi there YouTube, it's me, Morse in America, and in this video, I'll be talking about affixing assistant. Now, this thing is a very handy device, and if you are familiar with affixes, or if you're comfortable with it, and you can do a breakdown and understand how to use this, then you are fine. If you're still new to affixing, I advise you to watch the affixing playlist I have above my head or in the description, and also, if you're still new to it and you're not quite familiar with a bunch of things, Play around with Affix a a Simulator first before you toy around with Affixing Assistant because this actually goes into a lot more steps and processes that you would need to do or like if you want to format it and see it as in a very specific way, you can. Now I was toying around with this earlier or like during my last recording and um yeah, this is pretty much me showing you guys how my friend is getting to the 420 attack. Now with this certain affix, I did explain it on the Fix Simulator, you can check that in the upper right hand corner in the description. There's a bit of things I need to point out when it comes to uh, how a fixing assistant do those things, but the the gist of this is that one, you need to be familiar with a fixing. This is a bit more advanced than PSO2 Fix Simulator. And then there's secondly, um, you gotta know some of this stuff so you can understand certain factors that you might bump into. But yeah, pretty much this is the 420 attack formula. On the stat sheet over here, it's not really at 420, but the reason why I say 420 is because if you have a timed ability, that can actually increase it by a certain number, by 50, 60, or 70. If you're able to get 70, guess what? You can add that to the time attack. I mean, the T attack. And not only that, time abilities do not count towards the overall number of abilities that you have. So if, if you have an 8 slot, guess what? A time ability can push it to a 9 slot and it can give you a boost to whatever you're trying to do. So, with the plus 70, guess what? That plus 350 can now become a 420 with the timed ability. Now, this particular formula, once again, I did make it up right in corner or in the description. This gives plus 195 in S and R attack, two, 350 with T attack, plus 15 PP, plus 50 HP, plus 70 dex, SRT defense, plus 30. Now, if you want to look for a specific, uh, Stats you can over here, but it doesn't give you all the stats. It does not list the SRT defense, for example. It does not list the resist. Does not res uh, does not state some other things as well. So once again, if you're not familiar with all these abilities, I would advise you to go to the simulator first before touring around with this. But yeah, you can also type the name of certain abilities. Like if you want to do mana rev, you can do that. What you want to do is pretty much have these abilities go into the list over here. And to get started, you want to click on that plus icon over here. There's a bunch of other icons as well over here. You just need to look at them, like have your mouse go over these different buttons. There'll be a little window that says this is to help you share your link or like toy around with the settings and whatnot. But the big one is this thing here. Now, there's two options down here. You got the affixing and the transplant. Transplant is in reference to the transferability process and I did make a video talking about it explaining how you can use this to your advantage, which is what you see over here with the blue boxes. Um, I'm gonna show you guys how this works in a sense. I'm kind of mad about it here and there, but let's say you want to break this down to an affix. So, once you have your final formula, and this is you doing the reverse, having to find a formula, then breaking it down compared to going through a fix simulator where you... Well, I mean, you can do the same thing, like break it down from the final fix and then go further into it, but you manually have to do this. This thing can automatically do it because it has all these different choices and options. So, when you get to this screen, you might want to click on one of these tabs. If you go for grinding or guidance training, trainer plus 5%, um, is that a unit ability or a weapon ability? I can't remember. Oh, Guidance of Light. Okay, so Guidance Trainer is in reference to a certain unit piece that drops and it can give you a 5%. Hold on, let me make sure my facts are correct. Yeah, so this is an actual fix. So yeah, you can have that in your formula somewhere, if you do. I don't know if this thing is transferable, I haven't really toured around with it as much. But uh, pretty much, yeah, you can check these options. If you want to do a fix by upsliding, you can. I advise you not to if you're going for a fucking A slot, that is atrocious, that is horrendous. You can use all six of the fodder pieces, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have that check mark. And you can't really continue forward even though um, some of these are oranged out. You need to have... All these affixes in an orange color, and then once the confirm button is in an orange color, then you can proceed onwards. You'll see that some of these options are grayed out, and it's because whatever you already finalized over here, or whatever was automatically selected, um, 
because of this being its own thing, you can't really do this. And once again, this kind of goes to some of the stuff that I explain in my videos. Like, the catalysts are having the same name and type. Yeah, the catalysts can't be together. For example, you can't have one unit piece with both of every catalyst and a factor catalyst. That is impossible. There's going to be an error. So, that's why you see this option instead. So what you want to do is select one of these options. Like, some of these have, like, all of them available to them like these three over here with apprentice so i would go with the first one this is just you going through other options like instead of having all three apprentice souls let's say you would just want to have all two uh, just two of them in your formula for my formula i did have the uh well, solar set in apprentice so as an option then with this one you had to actually do this option and then for the fevers you can have multiple ones or like these other options as well so once you do that, it's going to finalize it like this, and then once you hit confirm again, it's going to show it in this layout that you see in the background or that I displayed earlier. I do need to point out a couple of issues with this because of the fact that there's some things here and there that you need to tour around with. Or that is kind of impossible to do right off the bat. For example, with this piece here, you the SAF is important, but when it comes to units in particular, there's only a few units that can actually give you an SAF of a Technique 6, and that's for a leg piece. Understand that for a leg piece, it has its own S-Class number, S8. An S7 cannot go with a leg piece. This is impossible, and there's no S8 for an attack up 2 yet, maybe. I don't know if they get add one later, but the thing is, the T attack up 2 is specifically for an arm, so this is impossible. And you might be saying, okay Morph, well how about I put the uh, Technic 6 on this unit piece already? That's gonna be another issue because once you do the actual fix, you can't really transfer that Technic 6 properly without some sort of uh, mechanic in the game. And there's no mechanic in the game that can allow you to transfer the Technic 6 as it is. Like, having 3 copies of Technic 6, 6 does not allow it to transfer. And if you don't believe me, let me actually um, pull up a fix simulator instead. This is my button for a fix simulator. So let's say technique six. Yeah, it's not going to be a thing because it's a SAF. So if I try to do something like this, for example, even if there are Technique 6 in the game, it's not going to register. I tried to tour around with that with the unit pieces that dropped with like Spirit of 6. Yeah, that did not work. Or Sp uh, Stamina 6, that did not work. So where was I? Let's go choose most of these options again. But yeah, like that that, that is an issue right there. So you're going to have to tour around with it accordingly. You would have this S7... You, you would actually need to use a pot item for this Technique 6. Now, you can be specific later in your uh, breakdown, but you need to know that right off the bat. Th this is a problem right here. The other thing is, this is also another problem, because you can't... For a unit piece, marks do not drop on a unit piece most of the time, unless you do it through an AC scratch or something. But you would want to use a pop item to do this, and you don't want to have both of these on the same unit piece, or in on the same fodder piece, because... Once you pop a Mark Angra, the moment you try to pop a Mark Receptor along with the Mark Angra, that's gonna disappear because you need something within your formula to make sure that stays. So you need another Mark Receptor somewhere around here before you can put another Mark Receptor on it, but that's kind of a waste of another Mark Receptor because you already have one somewhere, and you're just adding one onto this piece. So, yeah, you, d you, you need to talk around with this or know some of the flaws with this, but you can technically break this down over here. So this is what it's going to look like, and you can toy around with this. So if I were to do an ability transfer, that would actually solve this issue over here. For example, if I want to do an ability transfer, if I want to select an item, like let's say I want to have the uh, Mark Receptor. So I'm going to most likely use the main fodder piece. It's not going to have anything special on it, but then you'll see that this piece will have... Uh, what is it? This piece will have the other things that I need. So when I do this, it's going to transfer all these abilities over here on the right hand side, but then I'm going to use a pop item to get a Marco Scepter, which then leads up to this over here. Just note that if you go for an 8 slot though, it's going to cost 100 fucking uh, ability transfer passes. 
But yeah, that's how you can use this to your advantage. Now, I'm going to break this down and explain how exactly my friend is going to make a 420 or at least a 350 T attack unit. So instead of affixing it, we're going through the ability transfer process. Kind of wish they allowed me to uh, toy around with the other material slots that I need to do with the other pieces. But pretty much what my friend can do over here is have an S-class ability here and then use a grand technique. And then I'm going to confirm that. So it's going to look something like this. You'll see that grand technique is not in this formula over here. And I'm also going to affix it again or do the ability transfer again. Because I'm not going to be using a Mark Angra in this. He will have to use a Mark Angra. So with that being said, you can see now that this is its own unique thing. This is what I'm doing. Uh, da, 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 so if I fix that, yeah, that 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 that, that, that I don't need to fix. The thing is, this is how it's gonna work, and then it's gonna go to this. And then what I'm going to do is actually affix this one because this is me getting these final fixes. So I'm going to select, yeah, no, no, I say F. It's going to be the addability one. It's going to be that. It's going to be that. It's going to be that. So I'm going to break it down like that. The only problem I have with this fucker is the fact that I do not need um, six slots. I am not working with a six slot. This is not fucking right. Trying to figure out how to fix this fucker. Yeah, so the thing is, um, I wish I could take a fucking junk out, cause pretty much when you do the ability transfer process in how I explain it in my how Yeah, when it that 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 in my video explaining why transferability is so fucking broken is that you can upslot plus one while using pop items. Now in this Which one is it? This one? Yeah, this one. And in this one, like, yeah, they, they get to use a pop item for a Mark Angra to get it to plus one. The thing is, it's not supposed to be at this slot number. I need to get rid of this fucking junk, but no, I can't. Not in this, uh, process. So this is gonna be something like this. And then, um... Yeah, the problem with this one is that I need to decrease it as well, I think. Yeah, that's a 7 slot. What I'm what I'm using as a material fodder piece, and once again, I already had this as it is, it's just I need to do this. And then I'm gonna hit, hit OK. This is correct right here. The only problem is it's not at a fucking 6 slot. It's supposed to be at a 5 slot. Uh... I don't know how to decrease the goddamn number. I, I need to decrease the goddamn number. It's not letting me decrease the goddamn number. Maybe I'm missing a fucking button or something. But the thing is, I'm getting this from a 5 slot. It's supposed to be at a 5 slot. Ignore the fact that there's like... What? The junk A and junk B. From the 5 slot, it's gonna go into a 6 slot. Which then you can put a uh, Mark Angra on. And then with the Mark Angra, it can technically... Go from a 6 slot to an 8 slot, especially if you decide to use a grand technique and have an S-class ability already present, which then goes to an 8 slot. This thing is literally going step with like a plus 1 plus 1, but once again, S-class abilities can ignore that rule, which allows you to go to a higher grade. Or just add a plus 1 to it. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the only thing I have with this, but other than that, it does give you a good breakdown on it. You can format it in this way where it's like, okay, this is what's gonna happen exactly. So yeah, 5 slot to a 6 slot, 6 slot to an 8 slot. Not not to a 7 slot, then to an 8 slot, no. That's gonna eat up a lot of passes too if you uh, decide to... Well, it's... it's well, yeah, it, it will actually eat up a lot more, in a sense. Because at the very least, if you decide to go, like... 5 slot to a 6 slot, that should be roughly around 30 transferability passes, I think. And then 6 slot to... An 8th slot, right off the bat, can actually be, well, 100 transfer passes right there. But you don't need to pay for the another one step to go from, like, 6th slot to 7th slot. 
7 star to an 8 star. If you decided to do that, like 5 star, 6 star, 6 star, 7 star, 7 star, 8 star, you're eating up a lot of passes. Because to get from 50 to 6, I think it costs... I don't remember the goddamn number. So 5 to a 6 is going to eat up 25. And then when it comes to 60 to 7, it's going to be 50. And then 80 is going to be 100. If you decide to add these three numbers, if you do it step 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, it's 175 passes you are using, and that's kind of a waste. When you can easily jump from a 6 slot to an 8 slot, and you're only you're, you're saving that 50 transfer passes. So yeah, that's something to consider, but once again, ability transfer a fix or ability a fixing assistant is good to help you break it down it's just that i, I kind of wish they fixed this thing because yeah that, that's a lot of things that they're eating up unless it already registered that i think it did but yeah once again i i, I want this out i don't need actually no it didn't register that crap did it Yeah, because of the fact that this is not for, uh, formatted correctly, it's not really registering that. Because this is supposed to be at a 5 slot, and then you want to try to increase it to a 6 slot. That's not... Anyways, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this video. If you got any quick comment concerns, put it down below. But, uh, th this is going to bug me. But I'm, I'm not going to use it as much. Once again, I'm more towards the Affix Simulator, because I would deal with the variables as I see fit, and it just gives me a way to practice it. If... You want to use this, it is up to you. Not saying you shouldn't use it. Uh, but yeah, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.